But this story blows my mind for a lot of reasons. But let me just stick to the main reason it blows my mind because it shows these, these rare human beings are different. They don't think like average people. But that doesn't mean you can't be like them because anyone can think anything. You can use the power of your mind. Let's just read a little bit of this story. This story about Kobe Bryant reserving empty seats at his restaurant table is why he was one of the greats. So, um, Tim Grover, his trainer, said they went out to, to dinner. And when they went out to dinner, Kobe got a table for four for just the two of them. Kobe used to have extra seats at restaurants for his alter ego. Think about that. Why would he do that? Because imagination to them, these, these, this alter ego, what they see, it's realer to them than you think. I keep telling you guys, they use their mind. Over, for years. What have I been telling you? They use their mind differently. You can do the same thing. Their alter egos are real. When they step on the court, the Black Mamba is different than Kobe Bryant. It's real. Let's listen a little bit. He goes to one of the restaurants and he goes, can I get a, I need a, a table for four. And I'm like, it's just the two of us. <laughs> he gets a table of four. All right. And two people see us, two other people, two guys see us. And they're like, okay, they finally get the balls to approach Kobe. Ask, you know, hey, can we sit down here? Kobe said, these seats are taken. The guys were like, oh, he's just, be, he's just being this big asshole. No, not let, letting anybody sit down. And I said, Kobe, who are those, who are those uh, seats filled with? He goes, wherever I go, everybody that puts the best part of them away in the closet where they say, you know, put your, everyone who tries to hide their skeletons. He goes, I bring everything and all of me with me, the good, the bad, the indifferent. And those seats are for those individuals because they make me who I am. That was, so he's talking about his alter ego, the mama, you know, the mama, the mama mm -hmm. mentality. So just, and the, the crazy part about that thing, we actually ordered four drinks. So there were, there were drinks sitting all, 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 all the, all the way, all the way around. That is incredible because it's, th that's, that's what rare people do. It's what successful people do. They own all of themselves. I remember hearing Alan Watts talk about Carl Jung and he said one of the cool things about Carl Jung was that he just accepted his anxiety. He, he was not shy to admit his weaknesses. He brought everything with him as well. These alter egos are real. The best parts of Kobe, the hidden parts, right? They're honest. And part of being honest is, you know, it's a buzzword now. It's lost some of its you know, real meaning, but they're authentic. He's authentically Kobe. He recognizes his past mistakes, his past failures, the skeletons in his closet also contribute to making him great. It's the way you carry your, your shadow with you. You bring it up. You bring your dark side with you. So in Jungian psychology, they talk about exploring the dark side, that part of you, that is, that is, that is what you don't want to look at. It's a little bit more fierce. It's a little bit more in the jungles, so to speak, to own that channel that and use that as you play. Kobe took it to another level. Like he did everything else. He made it real, super real. I know spiritual teachers who carry teddy bears and joke that this is their ego. So there's a lot going on here, but if you want to be a different type of person, use your mind more. Kobe's imagining this. He's visualizing this. He's making it real. It's a form of visualization. Use your mind. Work hard and be honest with yourself. Embrace the dark side. Embrace your failures. Let that be fuel what Kobe was doing here, but he made it realer than you make it way realer than most people make it. And it takes bravery to do that. Peace. Growing up, I was always interested in the mental game. 
After years of study, I developed the Basketball Brain program. My life is devoted to helping others achieve their greatness. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and if you take a chance with the Basketball Brain program, I promise you your game's going to reach levels that you never thought possible.